So I've like recorded this uh, video like five times, but I'm going to do it again because I didn't say what I wanted to say. So you all know about the new upcoming Stonewall movie, right? Okay, cool. So as most people know, if you're like me and you did research about the new movie and you just like were like, who are they casting for whom? Um, Because I am currently like in the middle of reading the Stonewall, the book. Um, I forgot who it's by. But, um, yeah, so I'm in the middle of it, and it's a really good book, and I'm like, oh, they're making it into a movie, or about the event that it's about, um, and so, um, I, this was before the trailer came out, and I looked at the ca- full cast and crew, um, sorry, someone texted me, uh, shout out to my mentor, A, um, but, uh, yeah, so, I checked out the full cast and crew, and there are two people of color. It's like, what? And they're like Big Mama and stuff like that. I'm like, what? Like, what is that? Um, And they're both men. Ignoring that, but it's like, you guys, in an event that the major, like a large, 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 the majority of it, was by people of color. It's like, what is happening? Um, And so with the trailer coming out, it makes it seem like the white cis male fictional character threw the first brick. And so people are hating on that. And Jeremy Renner, or or, no, Jeremy Irvine, sorry, um, uh, posted on his Instagram as like, you guys are judging on the movie. It's like blah blah blah. Da, da, da. I'm like, it, he's like, it's a fictional character. There's um, there's vast differences like in the story from different perspectives. They're like, oh no, this person who is credited with throwing the first brick didn't. But it's like the majority has the the consensus of the people who were there were like, this person threw the first brick. Um, and I'm blanking on her name, but she is an African-American trans woman. Um, sorry, I'm cooking something. Uh, (laughs) this person threw the first break, so now you guys are changing it. Um, and so the whole problem I have with it is that it's not that it's, like, a fictional character. I'd be fine with it. It's like, I love Titanic. Like, Titanic's the bomb, um, the movie. Not the actual event. But they still made the Titanic sink. They didn't change that. They didn't change that it got hit by an iceberg and that's why it sunk. So it's like, it's pretty much the same thing. Can you imagine if like in the Titanic movie they changed it where they like ran into a giant rock. People would be like, WTF guys. Like that's not how it, (laughs) what? So that's, that's my idea that it's similar to. Um, But it's just like, and they have all cis males, cis white males playing trans people, or just cis males playing trans people. I'm just like, oh god. And I was looking, I was looking over the um, uh, cast and crew again, and it's like mostly men. There's two people of color, and there's like three women, most of which aren't even there, even though the women were. There was a lot of women there. There was a lot of lesbians there. And it's just like, what is going on, guys? And there's a lot of um, misconception about it. Like, when I was watching the trailer, it's like, whoa, there's a lot of people of color in it. But when you looked at the, if you look at the top build cast, there's like two. So it's very confusing. And it's very annoying because it's like, for me, it's really hard to learn about LGBT history because in our schools, they don't teach it, um, which is something I'm trying to get at my school is during LGBT History Month, have actual LGBT history, please and thank you. Um, but so it's like when you're showing if if because a lot of may, so I feel like a lot of LGBT people may not read the book. So they'll just see the movie and be like, oh, a white person did this. Great. Um so it's misinformation. You're spreading misinformation about the LGBT community under the guise of historical fiction, which I get is historical fiction. 
but you're not even being on point with her. Like, historical fiction doesn't change, like, the things that happen. Like, they keep to the basis of history and just add little embellishments. Like, I'm fine with that. Add an embellishment about what really happened. Guess. Make it pretty. Um, but don't change it completely. Like, what is going on? I don't, I don't get it. But I will see you guys uh, Friday and next Monday. Um, I love you guys. Bye.